Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rickety Games. I'm Cindy and today we are here playing Graveyard Shift. We are literally taking the Graveyard Shift at Whispering Winds Cemetery and it is going to be one interesting shift. So let's get into it. In the silence of the night, demons ambush our thoughts and madness unfurls its flag in our hearts. For sometimes the darkest corners of our minds have their own demonic allure. Edwin... Vilt? Is that what it said? It's a little fast. But it sets the tone. Ooh, Dark Phobia Games. This is very cinematic so far. Presents the Graveyard Shift. Hey! <laughs> Roll credits. It's hauntingly beautiful. December 1995, Whispering Wind Cemetery. You guys ready for the night shift? At a graveyard. It looks beautiful. Look at this fog. It's actually very photorealistic. Wow. Enter the Whispering Wind Cemetery. We got our lovely hearse here. I would drive a hearse. I feel like that fits the aesthetic. <laughs> Hello. Am I talking to you? I'm glad to see you. And I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. You have. I'm here to guard. What are we guarding from exactly, though? Also, your mouth doesn't move. Am I supposed to? I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place and may be a bit scared, but you'll get used to it soon. Noted. Um, it gets uncomfortably close. <laughs> Is it gonna get closer? This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. Looking forward to the silence. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. You should know that many famous people are buried here. Hmm. Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. Holy smokes. <laughs> the tab objective scared me. Also, the jump cuts back and forth was a little was a little jarring right there. So we need to go to Johnny to what now? Oh, we got a little map. Go to the security room and talk to Johnny. I have a diary? And my heart is a hundred percent. That's not concerning at all. Can I switch anything? Nope. Alright, I got nothing. Okay. It seems like it's straight ahead and like to the left. Should I explore the outside first? Can I run? Oh, I can run. <laughs> Be there in a moment. <laughs> Just checking out the creepy... Ugh. Creepy building. Got a little pitter-patter in my footsteps. I'm looking forward to the silence. The quiet. The tranquility. Ooh. So this is all a part of the cemetery. What is this? Is it a... Oh, it kind of looks like a basement. Or like a shelter. Those creepy ones in the movies. Oh, that's... <laughs> yes, that's a morgue. Keep the dead folks. Everybody stay sleeping, okay? It's a very quiet and tranquil night. We don't need... Oh, it's locked. We don't need any, uh... No dancing skeletons. 
You good? Nothing else? Okay. So, I guess we just gotta go to the security office, which seems like it's this way. That's a very big gothic church. What are the red? Hmm. Not cult-like at all. Are you Johnny? You must be the new night shift guard. You should know that guarding the cemetery isn't easy. Oh. The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. Will do. Tonight, the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the Ghost Rock group here tonight. The Tomorrow, Ghost funeral Rock? for these will be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. Can do. There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. The oh. previous night shift guard died of a heart attack. And we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. Oh. Why are you telling me this? I don't want to scare you. But I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. Regularly check the cameras, don't have a heart attack. Got it. I'll do my best. Oh, goodbye. Is there like a speed dial for a doc or the priest? Uh, fun. Well, oh, I'm all the way out here. I guess I, I said goodbye. Good times. What in the name? A lot of creepy lights around here. Not creepy at all. So I guess I... What do I do? Go back to the security? Ask the guy to get out of the cemetery because clo opening hours are over. What guy? Did I walk past somebody? Oh shit, I did. Me not even looking around. Hi! I'm a great security guard. <laughs> Um, you are very tall, and you need to leave. Uh, excuse me, sir. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards. Hit the road. And I have to lock the gate. Oh, sorry. Bye, Lurch. He seems very, um... At least he listened. Okay, bye! Do I have to lock the gates after he leaves? How do I know he's the only one? Should I like go do a walk around? I'm assuming he's the only one. Okay, bye. Thank you for listening. Oh. Locked in. Enter the security room and check the CCTV. That was one of my two rules, so I'm doing it. On we go. Okay. Here we walk. Seems relatively easy enough to get around. I'm assuming it's not much of a looting game, so I don't know that there's much... ...fruitfulness in going to explore random locations. Is this... debris? Hmm? Oh. Nice. Well... It's a good thing you have security. Oh, wow. So cozy. Is that blood? And a handprint. Blood. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna close the door and do my. Do my job. Good lord. Peaceful. Honestly, love the atmosphere. Like, the look of everything is gorgeous. It's 
that ju- oh, inside. Is that just hauntingly beautiful? <laughs> My eyes have a task. Looks like a leaky pipe. Oh, we got the gate too. Oh. Jesus. And our rock star guest. He said ghost rock band. Is that what he said? Hmm. Three guests, three coffins. Considerably different coffins, too. Okay. Is that stove on? That's not safe. That one's on, too. That one's really unsafe because it's next to a bunch of shit. This one at least is kind of by itself. Ooh, it's still not safe to leave alone. Examine the water pipe. Uh, where was the water pipe though? It was along the back wall. I think it was like this way. Ooh. Doggy. Come here, Cujo. Yeah, it was like over here, right? Oh. The death statue? Huh? Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? <laughs> um. No. But I'm guessing that's where I turned the water off for the cries of the, uh, sprinkler. Will you look at that? A little fucked. <laughs> I found the thing I needed to fix it first. Yes, I'll follow the pipe. I will do. I'm assuming it's this. Turn it off. No water for you. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna say no water for you demons, and they said no pathway. Fuck. Hi, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Did such a loud noise in my ears. Uh, uh huh. Check the CCTV. Well, don't mind if I do. I will go do that. It is eerily quiet. So far, mildly tranquil. That door. Get some WD 40. <laughs> That's a noise. Mm hmm. Nothing suspicious to see. Peaceful, tranquil, quiet. Did they get knocked over there? No. No, I don't think so. Looks very nice. Looks very nice. Cars. Good. No one at the door. We're good. Gate. Door. You know. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I did say no walking. We don't need corpses that walk. A change has occurred in the dissection hall. <laughs> dissection hall? Oh. Mortuary does fine, man. We don't need to talk about- oh, Can I close my door? I have enough things to worry about with corpses flopping off their tables. Ugh. All- It's not even dark yet. I'm assuming it's gonna get darker. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Do I have the key? I guess I do. Might as well keep a good. Oh, that's very. Is that for me? Not that one. I think it's this one. Because the other one has the coffins. Oh! The girl with the pearl earring. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Do I have to lug this bag up? Sleep tight. Go back to the security room. Oh! Okay. 
Good. Oh, oh! I took some shrooms tonight, not the good ones. Um, hmm. Stay back, demons. Jesus. Yeah. High five, buddy. Take the wheel. Please don't be locked in. Please don't be locked in. Oh, God. Let's just close that. We don't need any corpses rocking around. Or demons with pearl earrings. Alright. On we go. Mmm. A little disturbed, but you know what? It's still been quiet, so... The priest didn't lie. <laughs> oh, ruining the silence. I'm busy! The corpses are flopping off. What do you want me to do about this? Where's the phone? Good lord. That wasn't peaceful. <laughs> the noise is so loud. Checking the cameras. Graveyards do get a lot of surprising break-ins. It's very, uh... Is that someone at the gate? Ooh! Ooh. Hi. Are you missing from the League of Mysterious Gentlemen? So some eyes. Should I go check on our mysterious visitor? <laughs> He's still there. Hi. Oh. The. Mm hmm. Why? <gasps> I am the security guard of this cemetery, and I am leaving a message for the next guard here. I am here at night between 3 and 4 a.m., and I see a very frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery standing over a grave. But I don't dare to approach her. Her crying is intensely eerie and disturbing. And it's unbearable. I have recently found a solution that can make her voice somewhat more tolerable for you. Just whisper, Jesus Christ, 20 times. We don't know who this nun is, but I am certain that she is not human. And then... It like paraphrases it on the side. Here between 3 and 4 a.m. I see a frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery. Jesus Christ. 20 times? That'll drown out the eerie crying. Here is the news broadcast. Your last radio news reporter here. With a bitter piece of news from the world of music, we welcome you. In a tragic and unfortunate incident, the members of the iconic music group Ghost Rock, one of the world's popular music acts since 90s, lost their lives on the road to New York yesterday. This renowned group was known for their unique compositions and their haunting and enigmatic sound, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music. The members, who were traveling to New York for a Halloween celebration, tragically lost their lives in a devastating accident. Following the fatal crash, the bodies of these artists have been transferred to Whispering Winds Cemetery. Tomorrow, in a private ceremony attended by their friends and loved ones, they will be laid to rest across the globe. Fans and admirers of this group are deeply affected by this tragedy, shocked by the sudden and final loss of their beloved artist. Here on the radio, we extend our condolences to the families and friends of these great artists. It's a bitter news that has left the world of music mourning the loss of these tremendous talents. Sadness. Do I have a message? Okay, well that's some interesting news. It tells us a little bit more about the rocker ghosts here, quite literally. I am not allowed to leave, why? You need to rest? Am I sleeping? Why? I just got here. Do 
Do I need to wake up in the witching hour? My dude is still at the gate. We're closed. You gotta move on. Are you the night security guard by any chance? Okay. Okay. I really need to sleep? Why? Who could sleep? Isn't it your job to do the graveyard shift not to sleep? Like, isn't the point that you do the overnight shift? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, I suppose. Whoa. That's very beautiful, but holy smokes. I'm at the cemetery and real life and in my dreams my god they go so far I will say they're incredibly neat I mean damn whoever put these all in a row man kudos to you I'm assuming I go towards the light the sunrise towards Jesus Oh, excuse me. I'm running into the crosses. I'm so sorry. Do I just walk? Oh, there's a there's another light there. Should I go towards that one instead? Everything is so close and yet so far. Let's be a rebel. We're cutting. We're going diagonally. We're <laughs> be the menace of society. I want to be a menace to society. Oh, don't fall in. Oh! That was great though. Oh, those falling dreams are the worst. When you feel like you're falling and like you're not and you wake up and you're like, oh shit. Who wrecked my plate? Oh, come on you guys. The coffee's fucked up. Ugh. Also, who made all this racket and destruction and I didn't even hear it? Probably the bloody ghost. You know, I know you guys are rockers, but you know what? We don't have to be this hard rock over the coffee, okay? Everybody can share. Can I clean this mess up or no? I must, ooh. Ooh, it is nighttime now. Like nighttime, nighttime. It's gonna be dark and spooky. Stop raining though. Looking good. Oh. Not the hearse. Oh, our buddy's gone. He said goodnight. Jesus, how's it going? Everybody sleeping? Good. Can't see shit in that room, but alright. Is that a flashlight? Did they just unlock the door? Find a way to disable the car alarm. Uh, I don't have the car keys. Oh my god, they unlocked the door! How do I use the flashlight? Ah! That is a shit flashlight, oh my god. I can see absolutely nothing. The fog is really well done in this game, I will say. It looks gorgeous. Ha crickets, that is not peaceful and quiet, okay? I was I was promised tranquility. Oh, you can see the city behind the cemetery. Something very beautiful about that. Except for the fucking crickets. Shush it! You're ruining the peace! The house? Do you have car keys? I don't know why I'm going over here, but do you have car keys?
Mm, no werewolves tonight, thank you. Even baby ones. What is this? And why am I going... Did I just turn off my flashlight? Why am I... <laughs> messy. Ghosts, always so messy. Is there any car keys in here or something? Oh, it's a locker. Ugh. Crowbar? <laughs> Am I gonna break into the car? Shut up, you car! <laughs> Why would I want this? Is it just for me to look at? Okay. No banging on the car? That's probably the more sensible move. Oh, what is that? Is that the classic red bolt cutters that I just got? How thoughtful. What does that have to do with the car? Ah, shitty flashlight is shitty. Oh, there they are. Yep. The something. Oh, it's a wait. No, wait. It's not a bolt cutters. It's a glass breaker. What the heck? Why? Is this the sensible thing to do? Oh. Are those sticking out of the window? I don't get it. Am I supposed to break into somewhere else to get car keys? Ooh. Did it just move? <laughs> I just pushed this car. <laughs> Why? Oh, well, it's gonna be fucked up now. The real ghost and the menace of the cemetery is me. Causing destruction to the cars. I genuinely... Oh, here we go. Did I just clip the wires? <laughs> Is that really the way I'm gonna just just deal with the car? It let just lift it up the hood and just Who needs wires in that car? Anybody wants to have a funeral? Not on my fucking watch. <laughs> so they I guess they were cutters. Not that. I guess they were cutters. Wire snippers or something? It just says tool. Uh um Shush. Mm hmm I'm sure it was the wind. Ooh! The fuse is blown. Of course! Find the fuse! Where's the fuse? Oh man. Demons are ruining my night. <laughs> At least the fire burner is still on somehow. <laughs> uh, that one's not. That one's still going strong. Is that the ghost light? Um, where's the fuse? I think it was on the map, you know? Fuse. Kind of like by the pipe pipe area very loud crickets I think it was up here mm, it is very creepy also in like the night fog some of the headstones are starting to look like heads Bodies, people. It's like kind of around here, no? Here ish? Fuse, anybody? That seems fucked up. No? I feel like it is over here somewhere. Oh. Am I standing on the gravestones? Oh, good. Look at me. <laughs> I'm surprised I can get up here. 
Yeah, because that was a leaky pipe. And then... Maybe... Aha! There it is, because that's like the, the pipe thing on the map. It's not marked, but it's a thing. How to fix- Oh! Wow, that was dramatic. Shut that! Check in with the CCTV. Of course! Is something gonna be behind me when I turn around? It's a little too quiet, you know what I mean? But we like quiet! Quiet, dignity, and grace. Oh. <laughs> um. It's really strong wind. Just gonna shut the door. Shut the door. Thank you. Don't lock me in. Ooh. Every time. Hmm. Looking nice. Everybody's just chilling. Nice and spooky. I can't believe I just cut the wire in the car. Like, that's the solution. Uh, no visitors. That's good. What is that creepy noise? Oh! That's... You guys. Mmm. That's not great. The corpses are missing. Examine the change made in the dissection hall. Um. Do I have to? Why the music? Um. Leave my disgusting coffee pot mess alone. This just got so creepy. Oh my god. Uh, how come you don't have a light, by the way? Just chilling? Like me? Mm. No dingoes. We have enough madness happening. I almost walked through the glass. It looks very clean. Kudos to whoever washes the window. Did it just lock behind me? Oh, of course it did. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> And they were kind enough to leave the body bags. Oh. Uh -huh. Um. You guys want an encore or what? Ew, it's all broken and fucked up. Find a way out. Like, fuck that noise. Staff only. Oh, Lord. Jesus. You got any suggestions? You, we will not be buried here. Oh, is that the issue? Look, that's not my purview, you know what I mean? That's above my pay grade. I just get hired to watch. Not choicing. Uh, I don't choose. You know what I mean? I don't make the decisions around here. I can tell you you got a nice coffin box. This one's a little dusty at the top, but it's pretty. <laughs> Where? What happened? Um. Mm hmm. Somebody has a nicer coffin box than the others. But again, these are not my decisions, you know what I mean? Did that move? Did it, what moved? I, um. You know what? If you let me out, I can make some calls. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. I'm locked in, and I have very little vision. Can I just use my super tool to break the window here? Cause, Cause that's what I would do. There's always a way out if you're willing to break things. Mm. I feel like they just want me to walk and get in trouble. I don't know what moved though. You have a very nice coffin box. I feel like this is gonna be one of those moments that relies on repetition. To me, for me to just check all the rooms back and forth. 
Any light switches? No, of course not. Any corpses? What if I write a note and say you don't have to be buried here, I promise. Would that help? Mm. Mm. Um, I, I don't know what to do. Can I take the wheelchair? Jesus. Take the wheel. And the chair. Ooh, there's a key. I should have looked harder. I wonder... I bet it doesn't go to the front door. Nope. Does it go to the spooky back door? Naturally! What is that? The crematorium? Are we gonna burn the place down? Is that how we get out? Oh. The axe approach. You know what? Axe for woods? Is that what it says? It's behind me, but it's not. Do that twitch. No twitching. Is that a dude? Is that a person right there? Samara, is it you? Jesus. I genuinely can't tell. I think it's a spooky person. I need glasses, I'm sorry. What am I gonna do? Axe the bo- uh, Axe the- The coffins? You don't wanna be buried here? Fine! <laughs> Let me sabotage it all! I've got an axe! I'm not afraid to use it! Do I axe the door? Oh! The third one's gone! Good! I was- <laughs> that was a good one. I have no flashlight. Oh, do I take this down? Is that really what that's for? I just take the window out at that point. You know what I mean? Oh. That got really creepy. I found a way out. Oh. Keep Johnny informed by phone. Hey, Johnny, the corpses that were here, yeah, they walked away. They dissipated. They were kind enough to leave the bags so you could reuse those. Um. But to be honest, um. I fucked your car up. I didn't have any other choice. The. They, they were pissed about being buried here, and then the silence was broken, and. You know, as it goes. Johnny! Do we have, we have power back, right? Yeah, I fixed the power. Oh! Hey. <laughs> it's for the best, I saw nothing. But I, I don't know what you guys saw, but I didn't see anything. Hello? Hello, Hi. Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on there? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? The bodies are not in their place. Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, that checks out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, bye. Hey. Is that a floating shovel? You guys, we can't have fires near Tinder, alright? This whole- Uh oh. That's not good. Are y'all back yet? No? Yes, yes, I'll go check on the fire, I got it. You guys are gonna burn the place down here, alright? This is not safe. You can keep the floating shovel, but not- the fire, okay? Where was that? That was like... Over here? No? Is it up this way? Oh, it is. <gasps> oh, they're digging a plot. Um, I'm sure you have to pay for that. Oh, it's fucking broken. <gasps> oh, shit. Put this fire out. You're literally gonna set everything on fire. 
Ooh. Oh, the zoom. Ew, look what devil has done or do has do. <laughs> oh, I don't think he appreciated me taking his note. Escape from the graveyard through the gate. Is that what I just said? Fuck this, I'm out. I mean, look, to be fair, if I saw that, yeah, I'd, I'd be like, fuck that. Goodbye. I think it's this way, no? Somehow I don't think it's gonna be that easy to just leave. You know what I mean? Isn't that nun by the gate? Isn't the creepy nun? Was that- was she the one with the goggles? Are we just leaving? Are we really just gonna leave? Maybe I don't want to leave. <laughs> they are literally waiting for me in the parking lot. You know what I mean? Get to the security room. Oh. You know, I don't think the security room door is really going to stop anything. But you know what? It locks slightly, even though sometimes it locks me in. So it'll make us feel better. That's not the way. Past the creepy church. Around the little bend. I surprisingly got this map down. I don't know why it was easy to remember where the things were. Did I close that door? Oh. Home sweet home. Um. I'm assuming we should just check the cameras. Hey, does she have a light back? The one on the left? Um, are we I'm not just not gonna do anything about that? <gasps> Ooh. Um mm. I don't think they're gonna let me leave. Oh yes, that's good. I'm so glad that the body bag room I can't see anymore. Am I just gonna sleep? Ooh. There's someone in the church. Check it out. <laughs> Half a minute ago, okay, I was just saying, fuck this, I'm out. And now I'm like, you know what? I should do my job. Do my job. I'm gonna go to the creepy church and check out Samara. Maybe she'll give me a tape. You know, self-audition tape. Did I go the right way? I don't think so. Let's go the way we know. Yeah, you, you got your light back. Congratulations. Is it to summon the demon that's inside? Why do we go in here thinking that someone might be in here? You know what I mean? We know it's a ghost. It's probably a trap. Did you lock the door? Yes, of course you did. Oh! <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> that was mean. Read from the book. Is that all you wanted from me? Can I light a candle for myself? Oh. We, the buried ones in this cemetery, have a message for you. For years, a demon has been buried here, tormenting our souls. Now, you are condemned to destroy the demon within this cemetery and save us from torment. Otherwise, a harsh death awaits you. Why is this my responsibility, man? I don't know if I get paid for that kind of OT, you know what I mean? Oh my god. That's a barefoot and footstep. Three? Why is it in threes? Are we mocking the trinity? Oh, it goes all the way down. At least it's not chicken feet, right? Or whatever littered the walls in paranormal activity. Thank you for leading me to the breadcrumbs. Is this where the demon resides? Why do you only have three feet? Is it an alien? Alien demon. 
Oh, this just feels like a trap. I mean, every single one has been a trap. You know what I mean? Walk right into a jump scare every time. Oh. Why is it always a mausoleum? Just the creepy one, man. What? What? What's there? Hello? I don't see what they want me to see. Find a tool to break the tomb door. Don't I have a tool? Apparently not. Is that what they want with the, the tool shed? That I previously was in? This. I have the crowbar. Is that why they wanted me to look at it? <laughs> Does it count of breaking and entering if I'm supposed to be watching the place from breaking and entering? Okay. We're like trying to protect the place from vandalism and the other weirdos and here we are committing that very act. But you know what? It's to save the souls. Wow. Rip that shit. There we go. It's even creepier. Do I have to crawl? No crawling. Okay, good. It just seems very, uh, narrow, like very sh short ceiling. Like, I feel like I'm in a vent. This is much larger on the inside. I don't like it. Smith. 1990. 1932, Smith. Be brave, Taylor. Mm. I'm seeing things. Thought that was a person. Where's the demon? Is it labeled demon? Oh, found it. Demons have shadows. You in the wall? I hate it, thank you. Jones, 1945. Davy Jones, by any chance? Roberts, 1951. You just hanging out, free floating? Oh! Oh! Ah! Eyes! Shadows! People! Uh -huh. Johnson, 1968. I feel like I'm being led. And I am. And I just keep falling for it. It's getting narrow. It's getting very narrow. Oh, I saw your eyes. You know, the deeper we go, the no, you know, just like we have the way the way back. <laughs> what is going on in here? Oh my God, candles! Is that chains in a suspended coffin? What the hell? Williams or Parrington, youngest child between books and rotting corpses. Williams or Britain family, youngest child. The is different <laughs> in the text. What does that mean? I have a crowbar. I'm gonna turn around. They're gonna be right there. Oh, it's broken. Good. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this is creepy as fuck. What happened to tranquility, you know what I mean? I suppose it is quiet. We want the youngest child? Uh <laughs> I feel like something's gonna move. I don't know what we're looking for exactly. I hate it though. 
Ugh. What is that? Wire? Barbed wire? Mm. What am I looking for? They don't have dates. Oh! I thought that was another statue. Fuck me. Uh huh. Is this the demon hole? Why did I click on it? A key? Oh. Why? Hmm, I guess I found it. It was the Parringtons? The, yeah, the Parrington youngest child, 1917. I don't know if that's important, but I got a key. Oh. <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> Who are all these poor fuckers that have to be in their room like this? Unless these are not plots and they're just crosses. You know it's really bad if they line your entire room with crosses. You know what I mean? Like, whatever possession you had, that is a no-no, you know? Am I on the chain? <laughs> I am a tightrope master. Why am I up here? Do I need to cut the chains and... What is the deal here? How on earth? An axe? Am I going to axe the chains? An axe for iron? Am I actually going to axe this place? This coffin? What the heck? Why? Why is this the course of action? Shouldn't we call the priest? Be like, bro, you have a deep- Oh my god. Am I, is that the ghost going through me? Oh, fuck. It's the dude! It's the dude with the glasses! Who was at the gate? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Elias, although the devil has possessed your body and soul, in this transient world, from today, you will peacefully rest in eternal sleep, because the merciful Lord keeps you away from the devil. Elias, may the Lord forgive your sins and place your soul in peace. 1917, Whispering Winds Graveyard. And I have a, a lighter all of a sudden. Oh, that's a choice. Are we sure we didn't make it worse? Exit the tomb. Oh, fuck. And we have to run out of here or what? Or are we just like Gucci now that it's torched? Is that not gonna just burn the whole thing down? God, I have to find my way out? I'm either gonna get high fives and slaps on the back or they're gonna scare me to death every time I try to leave. Fuck. I'm assuming that's the way out. I think we'll go faster. Just going, just going, just going, straight going. No high five so far. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Why am I taking the ladder way out? Shouldn't I go out the way that I came in? What a thrill. I'm so glad to be out of the tomb. What do I do? Get back to the security room! <laughs> oh! Things should be ch- Oh my god, did I come out of the- <gasps> I came out of that bunker thing! Oh, that's a no-no. Is that the nun? I don't- I don't- why? Um, ghost ma'am. Oh, it's the nun. Maybe she just wants a hug. 
Would you like a hug? Done. Oh, good. She didn't seem very cheery. I did, I knew I was walking right into that one, though. Whenever they face your back, uh, face their back to you, and you hear the crying or whatever. Whoa, whoa that sounded bigger. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. You just know it's bad. Uh, home sweet home. Do they give me a broom <laughs> to clean up the coffee? Hey, they cleaned up the coffee! Oh, but they took it away. Well, that's rude. Thank you for cleaning. Well, we made it back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see what you did there, Damien. We're good. Just take a chill pill. They really like this spot. Oh, everybody, everybody. <gasps> yeah, hi, I think I've met some of your relatives. Everything, the car is haunted too. Oh, you were the one in the grave, I think. Oh, oh, Jesus, isn't looking so hot. Got bone. <laughs> I'm toast. See you in hell. Look at all the demons hanging out. It is a demon party. What does this say about drugs? Turn on my flashlight. Reality is... I can't say. I can't tell what it says. Oh! Ho, ho! The devil does not burn. Ah! Yes about that. Look, I, I was improvising. You guys told me that- oh. You guys told me to get rid of the demon! Leave the area. What is this? Photo album. It doesn't say anything. I can't see any- oh. What the heck? What is that? <laughs> A little strange, but okay. I'm just gonna leave that there. What do I do? Go out the window? Ha! Apparently! The one of the few times I can leave through the window. This person is smart. I like him. Except for the whole burning the random corpse thing. That, that wasn't so smart. Yeah, the, we pissed everybody off. You know what I mean? We called all the demons to the door. <laughs> Oh, I just got bitch slapped. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Where am I? No flashlight. Oh no. Are one of these mine? Are these all the souls that are pissed off? What do I do? Do I check the big one? You have the most nicely lit coffin. Holy smokes. Oh. Giant warehouse fire ravages city. Is this how, how they died? How some of them died? It's all the coffins that we've seen. Like the broken one. What do I do? Oh, it opens. Oh, down we go! Oh no, am I in the mausoleum again? Or did I make it straight to hell? Oh, why? I don't have any flashlight either. Oh, 
Oh shit. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, they're either super pissed or they're saying thank you. I take it they're super pissed. Wow, there's a lot of you too. It is a graveyard though. I can't see shit. I can't see anything. Whoa. What the heck? There's a videotape. <laughs> uh. Insert VHS tape into the device and- Do I want to? Is it Dawn? Turn it off. Uh, I'm good. There we go. Hello there, viewers. Today's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. Me? However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and the spirits of whispering winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. Uh, are you guys threatening me? That was a bit rude. Bad TV. One out of ten rating. Hello there viewers, today's true story is about a- Interesting. Weird. <laughs> They're terrorizing me, aren't they? Oh, there's no signal at all? Oh, fuck. Oh, there's a note. Don't look at- Up? Don't look up? Okay. Won't do that then. Uh, we would look up. <laughs> I've willingly given myself heart attacks. I think burning the the body probably released the demon. Is it daytime? My little table's back. Did I survive the night? Oh, there's the priest! He's gonna be like, how was your night? <gasps> All the corpses are back! Everybody's chill? Do I just go hang out with the priest now? <laughs> what a night! <laughs> was that my whole night? <laughs> If I just leave, I will laugh so hard. It's so peaceful now. Uh, I might have made your demon problem worse, and hopefully we hallucinated snipping the car. You know what I mean? Hi. How's it going? Um, there's a couple of demons, and there's a lot of pissed off ghosts. I feel like I took care of it, but that's your job now. You know what I mean? You got the collar. the first night of guarding at Whispering Wind Cemetery. I think you'd agree that being a guard in this place revitalizes the human spirit. Revitalizes the human spirit? I don't know that I would agree with you there, buddy. It, um... You have fun with the demons. So dramatic. Nice car. I'll just be on my way, shall I? Is that it? Do I leave? 
<laughs> Am I gonna take it home with me? Oh, I get to drive. Oh no. They're gonna be in the car with me. What me? <laughs> oh. Hang her weary head and cry. I'm driving in the road like a maniac. We're driving what on the opposite side of the road. A woman. Hang her weary head and cry. Do you think we get away that easy, guys? When she starts to tell her only loving man goodbye. Being a rebel, we're driving in the middle of the road. A woman is a woman. We had enough peace and tranquility. All over the USA. Hey, hey, we're going hey, towards hey. the archway. A woman is there someone on top of it? Oh no, no, there is. It's the dude with the glasses. Oh shit. Oh, he's coming home with us. Oh no. Is he gonna be in the back seat? Oh no! Do we end up at Whispering Winds? <gasps> Are we alive? Oh no, we're toast. What did I do to you, man? He's gonna burn me like I burned his corpse. Can I get out? Is that it? Did I get... Did I fall for the... Oh, it's the damn car! Oh my god. I got out! What is it? Is this hearse for me? Am I one of you now? Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? You know, I think I have at this point. I think it's... I think it's true. Do I leave? What do I do? Fuck that, I'm out! <laughs> oh! Rude! Oh. Is that it? Oh my god, what an ending! Oh, it was a little... <laughs> it didn't make a lot of sense, but I'm here for it. It looked beautiful. Amir and Isan, great job. The voice acting was really well done. Everybody had their supremely creepy tone of voice. The graveyard was like beautiful, the fog and everything, I loved it. It was super creepy. Good job guys, good job. Um, the story that was a little, the events, characters, and firms are fictitious. It is like a movie. <laughs> You guys did the whole movie outline and everything. Well, that was graveyard shift. What a shift. We were we were involved in some interesting stuff. We took it took a lot of improv moments. We we really were thinking on our feet there. Uh, we burned corpses, we vandalized cars. We let loose the ghost rock band spirits. Um you know, I don't think Night of the Museum has anything on us. We had a much more active night, you know what I mean? Um, it was fun overall. It was a lot of jump scares. It was a jump scare heavy game. Um, the controls were fine. The only thing I had difficulty was figuring out how to like select specific inventory things. But other than that, it was fine. Um, easy to get through. I, the objectives were very easy. It was just like, go, go, go for each thing. So it just kind of led you through. The logic I was a little <laughs> questionable. But you know what? We're a night guard in a cemetery. Our logic is probably already off. I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was like a quick little like spooky vibe. And it was kind of humorous in a little bit uh, overall. But it was a gorgeous game. Honestly, if the demons weren't hunting us, I would just admiring. I'd just be admiring the view. But, you know, that's how it is. Well, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed your graveyard shift. I hope you watch this in the dead of night and the spookiness. So we got our all the vibes going. 
What do you guys think of our spooky ghost? Do you think we helped or hindered everybody at the cemetery? Uh, they don't seem to be pleased with our actions, judging by the end of that, that, that game there. But you know what? We somehow managed out alive-ish, I think. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in more spooky content, you should check out this one over here. It's very spooky. And if you guys are interested in a whole night of spooks, I did a, a live. Uh, we did all the scariest games we could, so you should check that out too. And if you guys are still awake into the night, be careful of the demons. Don't burn any random corpses and uh, vandalize cars. But you know what? You do you. <laughs> Bye.